Trust issue. Yeah! Oh, you ain't recording, bro. Yo! Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's up? What's good, y'all? <laughs> That's some Georgia the Jungle type stuff. I'm yeah. trying to get it together, man. I woke up early this morning. What time you get up? Probably like a little bit before six. Wow. For no reason. Mm. Prayer time? Huh? Prayer time? No, just up. Mm. I got you. I got you. You be so, like this sometimes. Um, I'm kind of tired, man. I mean, I woke up early for the last past two days. Mm. I'm like, bro, this is not cool. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. That's what happened to me this morning. But, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> we ain't here to talk about that. Yo, so what's up, y'all? Um, Listen, real quick, before we get started, it's your favorite two brides of Christ on the mic. Two brides of Christ. The godly gangster gang. The godly gangster. <laughs> Christian Gangsta Street, Street Ministries. Ministries. Y'all, we back again with another video. Yo, we appreciate y'all tuning in each week to Absolutely. go ahead and catch a little glimpse of our thought process. Oh, yeah. Uh, we truly appreciate that. Yeah, man, because we, is, we is in Relationship oh, yeah. November. Relationship November. Relationship November. So we talking about stuff on the podcast then we talking about like the real 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 stuff on the live yeah man so y'all so, gotta make sure y'all check out the lives too. yeah need every to sunday 7 15 7 15 christian and street ministries that's group the group page, page. y'all yeah, make sure y'all so, definitely man um so tell them what we're talking about today kayla man we talking about trust issues y'all <clears throat> like <laughs> go ahead whoa, whoa. Trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we, we touched a little bit of, on this like a couple of weeks ago. I ain't never finished it. We really did. And, and then we, we still going to have to come back and do a part two. Right. So we're going to break this down real quick because we want, want to make this a quick video, a quick audio, and a quick podcast. So, um, yeah, man. Definitely, y'all. So uh-uh. Don't be trying to skip nothing. You, <laughs> I'm not skipping it, and I was turning it down a little bit, so then that way it won't be like a blare. Got was you. That your, That's huh? Was that your stomach? No. Oh, it sounded like some said. Woo, woo. I heard it, but I ain't know what it was. Mm. Mm-mm. It might have been me though. Who knows? How you ain't know? Mm. It might be because you know my belly. I got a good little rub on my table a little bit. Anyway, the point is, we here. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he's in the building. So yeah, y'all, we're talking about trust issues today, aka jealousy. So let's get right into the topic. But uh-uh. before we do, <laughs> <laughs> did y'all pray today? Did you pray? <laughs> <laughs> did you pray today, y'all? Listen, I hope you did. But look, if you didn't, we can go ahead and pray now. I ain't even gonna harass the people because they should have been did it. I get tired of this. <laughs> Tired of y'all doing Every week, I feel it. Y'all don't be praying like that, man. Man, for real. So, Kayla, if you don't uh-uh, mind. No, 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 no. <laughs> I prayed last week. So, you ain't going to Because you were sick. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Y'all, I'm feeling better. Thank you, uh-uh, everyone, for I all refuse. the prayers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. I'll go ahead well. and pray. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, by head, close your eyes. Let's go ahead and get it done. Dear Heavenly Father, first of all, thank you so much for today, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to come together here and to be able to fellowship one more time. God, right now, as we get into this a little bit more, we ask that someone is able to have a revelation to see if they do or don't have trust issues, Lord. And Lord, right now, I want to ask and pray that you help them to be able to deal with these issues and to come to you to deal with these issues, Father God. So then that way, any relationships that they're going to from here, from henceforward, they're able to be productive and able to be effective in those relationships, Lord. Lord God, if there's anything uh, sinful that is in our heart, mind, body, or soul that we've committed against you, we want to ask right now that you forgive us of all of those things lord god and ultimately just let your will be done let me and akela be used as vessels in this time again we thank you and give you the glory honor and praise now and forevermore in jesus mighty name i pray amen amen that was good man thank you thank you appreciate that that. appreciate that right there (laughs) (laughs) but y'all let's get into it y'all so kayla you got a question yeah, man, I got one. I got one or two questions for you, man. First question is on the docket: Do you have trust issues? And so here's the thing: I don't know. 
I told her she need to figure and- this thing out, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why because my thing is typically with the person I come in with a fresh start. So that being said, like. Whatever happened in my past, I don't necessarily hold against that person. Mm. So, I give you the benefit of the doubt. I will trust you until you give me a reason not to trust you. Mm-hmm. So, that's why I say I don't really know because in that regard, no, I don't. But then I'm also cautious as well. So, maybe I don't, but I'm just very cautious, if that but makes I, sense. I will also venture to say you don't really know because you you will be going into a different um relationship once you get into a relationship with a guy. Mm-hmm. So I think that'll be fairly different. Um as you can see though when you talking <laughs> it's not talk talk talk. You see how low it is? Yeah. But I think it's because like you probably like I don't know. It ain't the same thing. No, you sure? I'm sure. Is your show is registered? Yeah, it's registered. It's there. I just don't talk as deep. Oh, maybe as, that's what it is. Yeah, nothing against you, but I'm just saying. I just talked about that the other day. Yeah. I asked Deacon, I said, how did you feel when you first started talking to me? Because I know I have a deep voice. Mm. And he was just like, I didn't really think about it, but you do have a deep voice. Mm. I was like, yeah, but you ain't heard me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I get them low registers like low in the morning. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's a different topic. <laughs> when I was sick last week, yeah, I sound like a whole dude. Mm. I was about to say the other word. You know me. Um, I just... <laughs> anyway. But, um. <laughs> so, so yeah, you that's. Said you don't know. So yeah, don't I don't know? know. Cause even with the guys that I've talked to, even then, like. I've just been very cautious, but I it wasn't to the point where I didn't trust them. Mm. Because, like, even, you know, with some of the dudes I was talking to and some of the situations that came up, I was just like, well, hey, you don't have to lie to me. Like, I had a very open mind when it came down to it. So, I don't know. I don't think I, don't think I have trust issues, but I'm just very cautious. And I'm aware of when a person tells me something – and I remember that. And then when it comes up again later, I'm like, well, this is what you said then. So, mm-hmm. what's up? Yeah, you know? I feel you. So, I'm cautious. I don't think I have trust issues, but I'm cautious. All right. Well, maybe a little. A little baby. That's what, exactly what I'm saying. I feel like everybody got a little bit of tension. Yeah. So, a little tendency. Um, for me, I would say yes to a certain extent. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um just me healing from my past relationship and it's not that he really did a whole lot to make me not trust him Mm -hmm. but at the same time it's like there were communication issues Mm -hmm. so it's like how can i trust you it it stopped oh no it's still going how can i trust that you're not really doing anything when you won't even communicate to me for instance for instance okay so it's like in the morning time, I expect for you to message me. Like, right. for real. So, if I don't hear from you until 2 o'clock in the afternoon, that's a problem. Mm. What the heck are you doing between 11 p.m. and 2 p.m. the mm. next day? And I understand some people sleep long. Some people are off. They sleep in, yada, yada, yada. Right. But you tell me, oh, I didn't look at my phone. I was um, washing my car. It's mm. like, you couldn't message me like what you doing to make you not yeah. think about messaging me because if you're not thinking about me who are you thinking about mm-hmm. so it's like stuff would creep into my mind in my past relationship because of the communication was very broken a lot of times mm-hmm. and so um now that i'm kind of like venturing into something new mm-hmm. if there's a lap lapse in communication i see that he communicates like hey I was asleep, yeah. or hey, this was going on, I apologize, all of that good stuff. Now, I do want to ask this, though, in in reference to what you just said. So, based on what me and you have already talked about, do you think it was because of the different dynamics that were set in that last relationship to where, why you had those certain... Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Because like, he would say things like... Okay, so he would say things like, um, you don't know how many women would actually want a, want a guy like me. Mm-hmm. Or he'll be like, 
um, I can I can get somebody else tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Jokingly, jokingly, supposedly, right. Right? right? But but when you say things like that to a woman, yeah, their mind goes off. That's true. That's and if, true. If you continue to say it, like even yeah. in a joking manner, like that ain't joking to me. Yeah, I never mm-hmm. would say it unless he said it. I got you. I got you. Oh. So that automatically kind of put some type of jealousy with me. Even if I saw he, him talking to another woman in, in his phone, mm-hmm. it would be like. Well, are you talking to her for another reason? Because you've already stated, hey, you can go get another woman. Right. You know, so I think that's where a lot of that stuff came from. And that makes sense, though, because I think um, I think with a lot of women, um, for women who deal with people who are narcissists like that, mm-hmm. y'all, yeah, it, it can mess with you. It can really mess with your self-esteem. We need to do a video on self-esteem. that. self-esteem, yeah. And that's exactly what happened. My mm-hmm. self-esteem went so low. Because, like, you have somebody who thinks so highly of themselves and you Mm -hmm. already, like, because when you're in a relationship for such a long time, when you're very very young, a lot of times you don't even figure out who you are as a person. That's true. So, when you feel like you kind of, like, still figuring things out, but then they're kind of narcissists and also uh, conceited. Yeah. It's like, dang, like, I know Mm. they can go get somebody else, but what about me? Right. You know? Like, and then, then you think in your head, like, maybe I can't get nobody else. And that's what he said. He was mm-hmm. like, you will never find another person like me. So then that made me kind of, like, clutch onto him even closer, kind of smothering him. But it's mm-hmm. like, he said those things. And right. then I took those things internally. It turned into jealousy. It turned into insecurities. Mm-hmm. It turned into trust issues. Yeah. It so. became a toxic situation for you. Oh, very toxic. I got you. I got very you. Toxic. But I think, though, um, even in those situations, though, too, it's like... When you come out of that, you're so free. It's like a caged bird being let go. Of, Absolutely. Really. And it's like, I feel like, honestly, that's why. Hmm, that's what made you who you are now. Oh, absolutely. Um, in the regard of you being able to look at yourself and be like, okay, you know what? I love me. Mm-hmm. God loves me. Mm-hmm. I can speak to other women about loving themselves because I know what it feels like to not love myself mm-hmm. in the, of, in the fullness of who God says I am, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So in that regard, I applaud you because that's a hard thing to deal with. Not everybody is built for that, you know? Not everybody mentally can withstand that. So I applaud you for even walking away. Man, it know? was hard though, man. I like. Know. It, like, on the outside, people would see me as this hard person, like, this confident person, a person who knew what she was doing. But on the inside, I was not as confident as people thought I was. Mm-hmm. Like, not saying that was a facade, but that mm-hmm. was just a part of knowing that I had a purpose, mm-hmm. but still not being sure of myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a lot, and it was very difficult. Like I said, because what shows thoughts are in your head it's like dang am i ever going to find anybody else like that's a whole nother beast you have to fight a whole so nother beast your mind is if you if you're not careful over what comes into your mind and you're not willing to decipher through those things and mm-hmm. say okay i'm gonna keep this but i'm gonna throw this away mm-hmm. and every time that same thought comes i'm gonna speak against it Because Mm -hmm. God gave me that authority to be able to do so. If you're not willing to take the time to really sort through that, Mm. yes, um, you're going to go through a demise, really. Uh, Yeah. Like a self-destruction. Absolutely. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, for you, me being your best friend, even from the outside looking in, and even in the situations where you did let me in, I applaud you. Because I know, like, I've seen your growth from... The outside of what you showed me back when we first became best friends <laughs> to your inner yeah. and even being willing to share that stuff with me and mm-hmm. coming to me and be like, AJ, look, I need you to pray with me, dog, like for real. Mm-hmm. And like, cause me and Kayla, we keep it real. We had these moments with each other where it's like, hey, we got to pray. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but it definitely took me a while because when I showed my vulnerability in that relationship, I always got hurt in some type of way. Mm-hmm. Um, so it definitely, um, it made me not want to show myself fully, Mm -hmm. which is the reason why I let you in very slowly. Yeah. Very, very slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like I, and that's one thing that I choke about, like, I'd be like, um, you have to earn my funny. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm we done had that conversation, yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? True. Like, because you goofy as all get out, yeah, you like, really are. Or you may see my goofy first, right? But you have to earn the the seriousness of my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So whatever spectrum of where wherever you enter, you still have to walk across everything mm-hmm. else to get to the other side yeah. to know the full spectrum of who I am. Right. Does that make sense? I got you. I like that analogy, bro. <laughs> wherever end you come in, you are gonna have to walk through to get to the other end. And see, for me, it's different because it's like on the outside, I'm like an onion. Mm-hmm. So there's layers to me. So like for you where it's like, okay, you come in on this side, you got to go through. It's like I'm the same on every side, but to get on a deeper level with me, you got to pull back the layers. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. For sure. For sure. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, man. So we just have a different approach. For sure. Um, but we already knew that though. Like, even though me and Kayla we agree a lo- a lot on certain things, we have a different thought process as to how we get to where we mm-hmm. like agree to yeah, stuff. Definitely. And like, <laughs> if only y'all see our other conversations where we be having like Deep. these debates to get oh to the same goodness. point. It and it's like, real. well, I'm saying the same thing you saying. It's like, nah, but I thought about it this way. And it's like, look, it don't even matter. We both here. Right. No, or we got to be like, oh, we on the same field, but mm-hmm. we ain't on the same line. Right, right. You or know, on the same trying, base. Yeah, we ain't on the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, Like you in the middle, in, on, in the middle of the diamond, I'm at home base. Or, yeah. You know, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. So, so. Yeah. But we there. We there. Yeah, we in the vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But um, there was more, one more question. One more question. So... Me and Kayla, um, and Kayla kind of talked about this, um, was the fact of double standard. Yep. So, diving into that thought a little bit more was essentially the thought that when a person lets you know that you don't trust them or that they don't trust you and you're having to accept that. Mm. But it's like, okay, well, I don't trust you either anyway, so I guess I got to get it. I got to understand too. So, or vice versa. You trust them, but they don't trust you completely. And it's like you're having to accept that thought. Well, for me, what it is is that I'm going to tell you straight up. I have trust issues, so these are some of the things I might do mm-hmm. or I might say. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you was to tell me, hey, I have trust issues and I don't trust you, I'll be offended. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the same thing, but I, it's a double standard for me. I ain't going to lie. Like, I, I feel like I don't. No, I lie. I ain't gonna say I don't do anything. <laughs> Kayla you feel know. like she justified in not trusting you. Oh yeah, but you not justified. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> because I'm trustworthy. Because once you get my trust, mm. or once you learn who I am as a person, man, you will forever like. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. you have my loyalty. Yeah, for real. For like sure. you just be straight up with me. Right. Um, and just show me the real you, and you know. That means sure. that you can trust me. Yeah, that You should be able to trust me because I'm a trustworthy person. That's right. how I feel. That's all. I, do you I, feel don't, like... I don't do all type of, you know, crazy stuff mm-hmm. to make you not trust me. Do you feel like it's a, a character attack when somebody tells you they don't oh, trust you? Oh, yes. Listen, I have a huge issue with people um, um, testing my character. Mm-hmm. Don't question me. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, don't do it because mm-hmm. I know I'm a good person. Mm-hmm. Um. And I know that that can be a flaw because mm. I'm not always right, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Don't question my character. That's all I got to say. <laughs> but I think I think that's every person though. Like nobody wants their character really tested like that. Like I I know me personally. I'm like, look, two things you don't do. Don't lie to me. Don't test my character. Actually, three and don't test my intelligence. Mm-hmm. When I say test my intelligence, meaning. Don't try to pull something over me mm-hmm. when I see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like that. Whoo, that I pisses, know, yeah. It makes me mad. You already know, Kayla. So, I get that. I understand that. But then at the same time, it's like you have to take that moment and be like, okay, whatever it is that happened before me is why they feel what they feel. Yeah, I mean. That's or maybe even something mind. I did that could have triggered a thought from somebody else. Yeah. I've been in those situations with guys. Mm. You already know. That's why mm. he got blocked. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Because right. I didn't I didn't now I understand, but then I was like, the what is you talking about? Mm. Like, you know, and so 
in those situations, I will say that's when you have to really sit down and have that conversation mm. to understand why they don't trust you. And if it's even truly you, sometimes you have to have that conversation to help them figure it out. Mm. It's like helping them to process, okay, actually, it's not you I don't trust. It's somebody else that did something that maybe resembled something you did. So, really, it's me that has to get over that issue and not necessarily you that has to change. Mm -hmm. I've been in that situation. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, man. It's really real. So, yeah. <laughs> we hit our 20 minute mark. That's what I'm talking about. Bro. Hey, we did that, y'all. <laughs> man. But, yeah, y'all. So, yeah. that's really the whole basis of, well, Part of this part topic. Part one. Um, this is part one. Yeah, this is going to be part one. Um, we are going to come back around and talk about this again. Um, just maybe at a later date. Because mm -hmm. there's so much more we want to talk about when it comes down to trust issues. So, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Thank you again so much for tuning in today. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment for the video people who are watching this video. Uh, make sure you share it with your folks. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like That's it. Right. All that. Um, also, please make sure y'all are listening to our other podcast. We just did one on masturbation, the five finger play. <laughs> five finger play. <laughs> so yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and tune in on that. Mm -hmm. Um, from last week, last week, um, the week before last, we did loyalty. Yeah, man. So y'all make sure y'all listen to that, man. Good stuff on there for sure. Um, make sure y'all tune in tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, we're recording this on a Sunday. So Sunday nights at 7 15, we are always live unless Something, Something else happens. is going on. Or um, a holiday is oh yeah, Because we are coming up on the holiday season, so we're going to do something a little bit different there. Yeah. But it'll be fun either way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, y'all, we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. You got anything you want to say? Man, like I always say, there's power, purpose, and prosperity in your obedience. Period. Man. So, I mean, ain't really much to be obedient to what we just said. <laughs> Other than to analyze yourself and make sure you're not being a double standard mm. and making sure that you even know that you have trust issues. So be in tune with yourself. Self be obedient. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. So, yeah, that's really it. And uh, be a vessel, man. Be a vessel. Be willing to be open. Um, if you expect people to be open with you and you, you expect to open. gain other people's trust, you need to be, be open, open. to. Um, um, if not in the same degree, maybe a little bit more than that other person, for especially for the men, you know, because. Men, if you make your lady feel comfortable, she will be comfortable with you Absolutely. to be able to share with you mm -hmm. what's really going on on mm -hmm. the inside. Same thing with the ladies. Make your man comfortable, too, in that regard. Not sexually, but you get the point. <laughs> um. Yeah, because one thing that could definitely bring up insecurities, jealousy, and all that is, is the lack of you being open. Mm. So it's like... Transparency. Yeah, man. So, like... Never mind. That's a whole other subject. Yeah, man. Never We're going to have to get into that, though. We'll get into it another about. time. But, but yeah, man. <laughs> that's all I got. That's all you got. That's it. That's it. Be a vessel, man. Be right. blessed. What is it? Be blessed. No. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Pray today. Pray. Um, say, Love. A good, say a good word. Yep. Love one another. Love one another. <laughs> and then be blessed, y'all. There you go. In, In Jesus', Jesus name, name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Peace, peace. peace.